Hi everyone. Hope you're okay. Hope you've had a really good day at school. And Nana's got an apology because I forgot to do yesterday's story. So, bad Nana. But Atty, you were right. I was busy doing ducks, so I'll show you. I'm doing two at the moment. And they're both the same, but one's bigger than the other. So they've both got the same backs. Can you see? I've got to paint those this morning. So Nana was busy yesterday. So I'll put them there and get on with the story, which I promised you would be Winnie the Pooh. And it's called Play in School. So if you're ready, Nana will begin. Now, it just so happened that when the wind changed ever so slightly and the leaves began to turn scarlet or golden, Christopher Robin returned to school. Not so surprisingly, his friends in the wood felt as if they should really do the same. Playing school, as you might suspect, is not as similar as real school, as perhaps it should be. And after sitting at their desk for what seemed like a good three and a quarter hours, but was really just five minutes or so, Winnie the Pooh and his friends came to the conclusion that something rather important in their game of school was missing. Perhaps it's time we had a snack, suggested Pooh. I don't think that's the problem, Pooh, said Piglet. Our problem, announced Owl, is that we do not have a teacher. Hmm. Of course, I'm quite happy to offer my considerable expertise. Just a minute, Owl, Robert, Rabbit broke in. Why is it exactly that we should let you be the teacher? Some might say, myself included, that I'm better suited for the job. Owl scolded. You? Perhaps you should have a vote, said Piglet. I'd like to nominate Pooh. Me? Pooh said. Why, thank you, Piglet. I gladly accept. Now, what's a teacher again? Really, said Al, with no small amount of scorn. A teacher, my dear Pooh, is someone who stands before the class. To give out snacks? asked Pooh. No, Pooh, said Al, to give out knowledge. Oh, said Pooh, I don't think I'd enjoy that nearly so much. Well, if it's all the same to you, and if anyone cares, I'll be teacher, Eeyore said glumly. I probably wouldn't have made a good student anyway. Hi-ho, said Christopher Robin, returning from a thoroughly enjoyable and very well-taught day at school. Whatever are you up to? Playing school, I think, said Pooh. Only we don't have a teacher, Piglet explained. I could teach you. I learned ever so many things today, said Christopher Robin. Hooray, cheered Rue. Let's start right away. I think Christopher Robin was the best bet, don't you? I can't imagine Pooh being a very good teacher. He'll probably teach you how to get honey out of a tree. What do you think? Well, that was good, wasn't it? So I really enjoyed that. And tomorrow, I think we'll do the Aristocats. Bedtime for Duchess. So I look forward to that, if Nana remembers that is. Anyway, hope you had a lovely day at school. Hope you enjoyed your story and I will see you again tomorrow. I love you loads. And so, night night Atty. I love you, night night Torben. I love you, night night Ruby. I love you and night night Max. I love you too. Be good and see you tomorrow.